Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, I am going to discuss the brain of frog. Brain of frog is covered by cranium and it is also having two meninges over it. Outer one is dura mater and inner one is the vascular pyometer then it is important that the brain is elongated and white colored the brain is divided into three regions The brain of frog is divided into three regions, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The forebrain is having the olfactory lobes, the cerebral hemispheres and the diencephalon. While this region is representing the midbrain while the hindbrain is made up of cerebellum and the medulla oblongata so first of all we'll discuss the forebrain now the forebrain is having olfactory lobes olfactory lobes are also known as rhinencephalon and these are two in number these are anterior most These are spherical in appearance. We can observe that. These are olfactory lobes. Then each lobe is having a cavity which is known as rhinoceal. Next is what is the function? Function of olfactory lobe is that it is concerned with olfaction or sense of smell. Actually the sense of smell in frog is relatively poor. Now the next one is cerebrum or two cerebral hemispheres these are long oval and smooth structures that are narrow anteriorly or narrow in front and broad posteriorly then it is demarcated from the olfactory lobes by a slight constriction we can observe this constriction here this is the slight constriction this can be viewed here this is the slight constriction sidewise 
then then it passes lateral ventricles and these are also known as paraceles or first and second ventricles posteriorly these are fused now the third part is diencephalon diencephalon is short rhomboid and somewhat depressed region behind the cerebrum and it is also having a ventricle which is termed as third ventricle or diocele the floor of diocele is formed by hypothalamus and this hypothalamus is attached to the pituitary gland by a narrow constriction known as infundibulum then what is the function of diencephalon diencephalon is concerned with vision and balance now the next is midbrain midbrain is the broadest part of brain we can observe the midbrain in the diagram this is the optic lobe pair which is representing the midbrain so this is the midbrain and it represents the broadest part of brain then it possesses a narrow canal in it and this narrow canal is known as aiter or aqueduct this is aqueduct of sylvius and this aqueduct of sylvius connects the third ventricle with the fourth ventricle we'll be discussing the fourth ventricle in the hind brain now it is having mid brain is having two optic lobes and these that's why the frog is also known as corpora by gemina so it is having two optic lobes and with a cavity in them each is known as optocoel now the function of midbrain is that the optic lobes in midbrain inhibit the spinal reflexes 
and also control the opposite side of body then next is hind brain hind brain is also divided into two major regions first one is cerebellum cerebellum is poorly developed in frog the reason behind is that it is a tetrapod so balance is not a much problem in frog then it controls the equilibrium and muscular coordination the next part is medulla oblongata now medulla oblongata represents the last small conical part we can observe the hind brain in the diagram this is the cerebellum and this is the medulla oblongata it is continuous with spinal cord without any distinction and it passes the fourth ventricle which is termed as metacele the fourth ventricle now the important functions of medulla are it controls the involuntary functions of body which are mainly concerned with maintaining the heart rate metabolism and the respiration so these are the various points about the brain of frog thanks for watching this video